the second garlic situation. So this is a whole roast chicken which I've spatchcocked um, and underneath, basically, I've tucked in whole, a one whole bowl of garlic, which basically I've just separated the cloves. And it's been cooking for about an hour, just with some olive oil and some seasoning on it, where these garlic cloves have gotten lovely and soft underneath. And you can see they're lovely and soft underneath. The skin's still on, that's fine. It also adds flavor. Then I'm going to brush this, and this gives such a lovely color and a lovely flavor. This is just a mixture of uh, paprika, lemon juice, honey. It's got lovely balance of flavors, a bit of uh, vinegar and some herbs. So once it's been in the oven for about an hour with the garlic cloves underneath it, it's now going to be go back in the oven for about 15 minutes, half an hour, uh, depending on the size of the chicken. And then we'll show you what to do after that. We're continuing with our whole chicken, our whole garlic cloves and our whole chicken. Um, so this has been in the oven for 15 minutes. The cloves I had pushed out from underneath the chicken. You see how lovely and soft and mellow this flavor will be. Um, you need to just remove the, the, the uh, skins because that's not going to be very pleasant. They kind of open up or you can pinch them open, that's fine. And then you just push this in to the sauces, the juices, the chicken juices that come out, the pan juices. When you remove the chicken, there's lots of sauce all around the place. So make sure you incorporate it. If you want to be very pedantic about it, you can blend this, but just work on it. Mix the sauces in, the juices in, and the brush, what I brushed over it, this is a brilliant dipping sauce with this. So you can add this into here. Whoop. Try not to drop the bottle and cook it all and just let it all meld all together. And that's that.